I have about 900 hours in this game. Cool flex, I know. But my issue is when I'm giving advice to new players, I find myself kind of far removed from the new player experience. So this video is kind of my return to monkey and the fact that I'm going to try to recreate the new player experience, but for me. So the next thing I needed was to create a new account. What would my username be on this account? Very important decision. As someone who does plan on attending Shrek Fest 2022, I decided to make my name Shrek is Life. So I have not done the new tutorials yet. Back when I started the game was when Eleven came out and the tutorials had Aya and Jackie in them. Uh, now we have Yuki and Hedgen, but I don't really know what to expect. Overall, I thought this was like a big step up from where the tutorial used to be. I remember struggling to get through the tutorial when I first picked up the game. Here's my issue though with what they present. In a lot of the games, I find out people don't really finish their builds before they start willy-nilly farming or fighting or even trying to craft other things outside their build. I think this might be perpetuated by this tutorial and the fact that they had me killing bears uh, right off the bat. They had me fighting other people, obviously not full build. Maybe this kind of gives the impression to new players like, hey, getting full build really isn't that important. Before booting into a real game, I obviously have to buy my girl Adriana, every account should have this character, and then promptly after doing so, I take a look at augments. One thing I noticed that I had no idea about augments is you need to level up to unlock them. Um, this is news to me. Obviously, I think early on leveling up is going to be quicker. Uh, just redeeming my challenges for the day. I leveled up like four levels. But it is kind of weird to me that augments aren't unlocked off rip. So loading in, I'm looking at the builds for pretty much the first time in forever. And these builds are pretty bad for Adriana, I'm not gonna lie. They have one smoke bomb build that I really like, but the rest of them have never been meta, aren't meta, and just kind of feel bad to run. Honestly, I think it would be a step up if somehow the communities had to say like, hey, this is a really good new player route, um, I'd give this a go because some of these just they, they, they're just not it. So the first game I load into is an obvious bot game. As you can see, um, I actually almost die because these bots straight up teamed on me. That's fucked up. But outside of that, I'm just trying to clear this quickly. Um, I want to get on to the next level, so to say, of games. I don't know if I would have lost this game if it um, holds me back. But to find out, I make friend with Steven, the AI, he, he's a good guy, trust, trust, and I pretty much let him get a free kill on me to see if I'll stay in the bot queue. So after my heartbreaking defeat to Steven, the AI, I find out they actually just throw me in the new player queue. Um, it doesn't really matter if I won that game or not. Maybe if I would have died super early on in the game, they would have continued to queue me up in bot queues, but you don't have to win the bot game to advance to the new player queue. So new player queue's weird for me, right? Because I don't want to go around and just destroying the new player base by beating them into the ground. So the rule that I have is I'm not allowed to fight anyone until they fight me. And to kind of make it more fair, um, I sit in a bush for like 80% of the game roughly. And something I'd like to point out is playing these games, the only people I'd really kill were people who were on fire and probably those who had a decent amount of time on the game already. So I really didn't feel all that awful. But after I got out of my bush, I went over said hi to Miss Wickeline because that is my best friend and something interesting I wanted to test out was if I drop this Sicilia new player a VF blood are they going to be able to craft something in this limited amount of time something I did notice is they picked up the VF blood 
but I don't think they really had any options or knew what to do with it. To be fair, in these limited uh, zones left, I probably would have been struggling to figure out something to do with it as well. So end of the game rolls around and me and Sisla are the last in the circle. I'm thinking they're pretty hyped for second place. I could have let them win here, but I make the fight believable. Um, the issue with letting them win is I won't climb out of this new player queue if I keep losing in it. So I play a few more games and I start to realize something that has been happening in every game. There's always one player that kind of slays out on the rest of them. And I don't think it's a smurf either looking at uh, DAC.GG's. I'm pretty sure what happens is when a player drops below a certain amount of MMR, they get sent back to new player queue. So there's players who are like level 15, level 20, that every once in a while, they get knocked back to new player queue and they just kind of smurf on anyone, including me when I'm not expecting it. And the new player experience would not be complete if I didn't post my first win to Discord. Apparently, the account needs to be five minutes or older to type, though. But after waiting, adding a spiffy new profile picture, I take to the new player Discord, throw in my win, and I kind of bait it as if, like, hey, this game's supposed to be hard, right? Hmm? But I got my first win in, like, three games. And not a single person in there told me it was new player queue, which I'm amazed by. My number one reaction was people are going to shit on me. They're going to be like, okay, man, uh, <laughs> you're, you're playing a new player queue. It's a lot easier than the regular queue. But instead, I was received with a lot of positivity. Whether it was because I was out here playing Adriana or... Just because the community is super welcoming to new players, it was a super positive experience overall. So I boot into another game and I realize after four games of dicking around in new player queue, I'm finally in the big league. The reason I figured this out was I had Homecoming, the former number one player, NA, in this game. And I also had Wraith Kira, the current number one player in this game. A bit of a jump going from new player queue to playing against the very best. So if that is any testament in how steep the learning curve is going from new player queue to regular queues, then there you go. In new player fashion, I kind of just walk around with a green weapon. And to my surprise, I am not getting grief. Sure, it might happen to new players every once in a while, but when I would walk up to people, they would kind of just respect me and say, oh, my bad, didn't mean to auto you there, man. Oh, oh. Maybe Shrek is life. Doesn't want to fight me. He just wants to go build some items. Poor guy. I was where you were. And since people were sparing me so much, I decided to press my luck as a new player. With like four people, five people in factory, I go for alpha with a green weapon. And believe it or not, I get out scot-free. You, I got you. There you go. I got you, friend. I knew you were struggling with your green weapon. With everyone treating me with such respect as a new player, I decide to do the only thing I can do. And I finish my build and I start sweating. We're farming up, we're catching up, we're about, I don't know, seven levels behind the lobby leader, so we got a ways to go, but on my way to catching up, I decide, you know what, we're gonna grab Wick off spawn, definitely a new player move. Oh, wait, I gave you life? No! This is the worst outcome possible! And after cleaning up a couple kills in desperate fashion to catch up. I fight Wraith Kira in the final zone and hey, th this is how it goes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got I got digged on. But you know what? It was a close fight. Um, I think it made for an entertaining ending. And yeah, that was my new player experience. So overall, what did this teach me? Um, I don't think I really returned to Monkey. I did not return to my new player ways, but it did give me a lot of insight of issues that we have in the Eternal Return community and getting new players into the game. And one issue that I didn't have was the community. That was probably the biggest strength we have to Eternal Return. Whether it was me posting on Discord or some of the best players in the game just letting me live doing the most dumb shit possible. Um, I think this game has a lot of promise when it comes to integrating new players. It's just a lot of things client side, I think, could be better. I'd like to shout out um, all the streamers that I used in this video. I'm going to leave their links to their Twitch channels in the description. Um, and along with that, I'm going to be live right now before going on a little Thanksgiving break. Um, I'm going to be doing viewer games, so if you want to play with me, um, hop into the stream. I'm going to have that in the description and comments as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for all the love I've been getting on the channel lately. I super appreciate that, and I'll see you later. Bye! Going up in flames! I can burn anything I want now.